But we see that Christ was filled with the spirit of compassion. You know, most of us, we have compassion for our own selves. We have compassion for our own families. We have compassion for the things that concern us. But Christ is looking for someone to have compassion for others. You think about what Paul said of Timothy in the word of God. He said, I have no other man that's like this man who will not care for his own things, but care for the things of others. God is looking for your heart to be the agency of his kingdom agenda on earth by the power of the Holy Spirit. He said, I and my father shall make our abode in you. God wants to have his way in your life and use you on this earth as a force for good to advance the kingdom of God. Don't just get religion today. I'm telling you that religion and religious people are the greatest opposition to the move of the kingdom of God on earth. You look at Jesus' ministry. The Bible says that the Pharisees were prompted by envy for their actions to destroy our living and risen Savior. You think about Paul the Apostle, the Bible says they called him a perfect pest, a perfect menace. The religious people of that day absolutely hated him, but God absolutely loved him and made a strong man that was determined to do the work of Jesus Christ and advance the kingdom of Almighty God with an uncompromised, pure gospel, not adulterated with the filth and the garbage of this world. 